Hi, and welcome back to the Loner Pad. Today we're playing the Pegasus Expedition. Let's go right in. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really, I can't wait to get into when we get the shipyard up. So, we're having the shipyard here. Let's see how construction's going on it. Um, the shipyard was, where? Here's the shipyard. One more turn and we'll be able to hire the Admiral and build our own fleet, which I think is awesome. Okay. Oh, we can actually come here and just claim this? Just go there and claim it? Uh, it says colonizable. This is a nebula. If a fleet is in a nebula, other factions can't see its fleet composition. So you can hide your fleet composition from your enemy. Uh, okay. I mean, it doesn't look like, uh, looks like, what's diplomacy? Target faction refused to start diplomacy. I mean, come on. Start diplomacy with us. Why not? Okay, doesn't look like anybody's at Sioko. Can we build? Oh, we can actually build there. And we actually have a shipyard there? Well, I didn't know that. What? What happened here? Rebuild. Rebuild. What about over here? Oh, that's the first expeditionary fleet. And that's the Shioka. Okay, those are the other two factions of ours. Okay, so I guess the AI is controlling them. Interesting. Okay, so we've got a uh, capture bow, which is bows over here. So we've got to go through here to get there. We do have side quests, move further into the galaxy, hold the Zoka system, and destroy the Roar Clan. The Roar Clan's here here and here and then of course in the bow okay so we need to destroy those what i'm thinking about doing is just holding off until we get our shipyard and then we'll go ahead and start you know looking at attacking these other places and that also gives us a chance to get more resources going Okay, um, first, before, let's go ahead and build our fleet, actually. We can hire an admiral. Click on a card to hire the officer. Each officer has traits that are shown as small icons, which you can hover over. Okay, cool. So, we have this admiral uh, that has tier 1 unit avoidance. So, that reduces damage taken and increases damage of your flagship. Here is reduced damage taken and... Increases damage to your flagship. Ooh, increases damage to your artillery. And increases damage to your flagship. Increases the damage of your carrier interceptors. And increases the damage of your artillery. Interesting. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with her, I think. They all cost the same, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with her. Okay, now let's start trying to build our, you know, fleet here. So, why can't we take these? Are these things we have to unlock in the tech tree? Those are pattern lasers, flagship holes. How do we unlock that? And where are they in here? There's flagship shoemen. I think we have to upgrade it to, um, instead of a settlement to, uh, I mean, instead of an outpost, we need to upgrade it to a settlement or colony, whatever the second level is. I think that's what we need in order to do it. Let's check and see if I'm right. Let's go to construction real quick and go to here. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Is be able to upgrade it. Oh, there's uh, available structures. 
Yeah, um, unlocks tier one cruiser, frigate, artillery, and carrier unit construction. Okay. So these are different than um, the stuff we built on the actual planets, looks like. So that's negative 120% um, uh, negative 120 energy. Okay. And we do we do have the cost. So let's go ahead and build the shipyard. I want that shipyard. I didn't know we needed that to unlock more. Okay, how's our What are we looking at here? 55? We do have 86 here. We could possibly take them. We do have two nukes and a missile. Honestly, let's go ahead and try. So we're going to go ahead and fight. Obviously, they're going their heaviest fleet here. Okay. They're going to hold the line, so they're not retreating. Okay. I mean, should we do victory at all costs, one on each? Or should we do a full frontal assault? And just go for the command station to begin with. Hmm. This is a toughie here, actually. We could do lightning strike, two at each. Is there a way to get two at each? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. So there's no way to get two at each, but... I kind of want to do a lightning strike here. Then I think I'll just nuke this for all it's worth. Start combat. Okay. Nuke that for all it's worth. Send missiles over here. There we go. Winning battle, victory imminent, victory imminent. Okay. Pause real quick. Nuke that one. We've got victory here. We need to worry about here where the command station is. Defeat imminent over here. That's not looking good. Yeah, they beat us here. We're going to beat them here. So now we have to worry about here. They just sent um, uh, their other one in here. Now we're coming over to there. And we've got to go through that system to get there. Uh, it says victory imminent. I'm not so sure about that looking up here. I, command stations are really rough. We're standing our ground here, though. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stand our ground. I think we can win this. Yeah, we're definitely going to win this. We took a whole bunch of... Um, uh, casualties, but we were able to win it. Okay, and we can build stuff here now. Let's go ahead and take a look at we, what we just took over. There's only one habitable place here. Okay, this increases our long-term happiness from any level of inhabitation here by two. Honestly, I'd like to do a civilian outpost, but we need to unlock that. So, what I'm thinking about just doing here is a research outpost. Yeah, we're just going to do a research outpost here and call it. Um, do I want to command? Nah. I don't want to waste resources on that right now. Okay, so let's see. And how soon am I going to get that, um... I'm not exactly sure. Do we just unlock it already, or...? I'm... Let's see. Click on technology queued to be researched. If the technology has prerequisites, they're automatically queued for you. At the start of your turn, all your science is used to advance your current research efforts. 
No research is queued. Okay, gotcha. We don't have enough to get these, so we're just going to get that. Okay. So, I think we need to wait and get our shipyard here. I think we've constructed all we can. Yeah, because that's barren. And I th yeah, we've constructed all we really can, I believe. Now we... Okay, so there's nothing there. I'm looking at these and what's required. Okay. But Zoka, on the other hand, is a whole bunch. Yeah. Now it's construction of three per turn. Honestly, I kind of want to put that up another notch. But we don't have the energy to do that. So I'm going to stop here and in turn. Uh, I don't expect the Roar Clan to hit back on us. I, I'm so surprised they are. Wow. Um, oof. Okay, we, we've got a flea on that one. I'm sorry, yeah, they just took that place back. <sighs> Such a waste there. Settlements and colony. Some systems are suitable enough to make settlements or even colonies on. Yes, yes, I know. Okay. So now we should have our shipyard here. So now we can take her and make her fleet. No? Hmm. I am so confused on how to unlock these. I guess these are the tier 2. So how do we unlock the tier 2 ones? Because it says unlock tier 1. But we can't upgrade the shipyard. That's got to be in the con over here, right? Yeah, it doesn't really tell you, oh, hey, you need to do this in order to, you know, construct more. Fleet Command Complex. Okay, let's see what this is. Unlocks Tier 1 Cruiser, Frigate, Artillery, and Carry Unit Construction. Well, didn't we just do that? Upgrades from Command Station. Okay. Okay, so that's the same as doing a shipyard. Okay, I get that. Okay, I get that. Sure. But I'm looking how to unlock the Tier 2 ships. Oh, okay, it's over here. Advanced Warship Construction. Here we go. Orbital Dry Dock. Okay. Honestly, I want to rush this. So, once we have enough research, I want to rush that. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. So, I want to build my fleet here. Um, I do like my um, carriers with the interceptors. I'm going to add a couple carriers here. A whole row of carriers. Um, I do want some ballast. I think those would be really good. Um, I'm watching my rare earth, too. Okay. Honestly, I think we have enough that I can split it again. There we go. And honestly, I'm actually going to put this in. Increases the damage and damage reduction of all flagships by 10%. I'm going to put that in for my flagship here. Which I... Oh, we can change. Interesting. I didn't know. We can change. Let's change that too. And then... What else do we have? And then we're going to do that there. Okay. I like that. So now we're getting our fleet built there. For now, let's see. Do we want to repair this? No, we don't even have enough resources for that. They have eight. Oof. 
That is rough. I'm actually going to send them over here. Just in case the roar tried to come over here. I don't care about this place. It's barren. And I don't think anybody's going to come after us there. Okay. We should be fine here with 55. Should be. I'm a little worried. If I'm worried, should I upgrade this? I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. Yeah, because that gives us five defense stations and upkeeps the level two garrison fleet, which I think will be really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and intern there. We'll see what the Roar Clan does here. I'm not sure if they're going to come after us or not. Okay, doesn't look like they came after us. So, I mean, they are keeping um, a decent amount of fleet here. 32, 32, 14. How's our... Um, let's see. That's being built still, and these are still being built. Okay. So, those are still being built there. So, we've got two turns before that's completely built. Gotcha. And then we've got two turns before that's completely built. And that means then we can build other things here. Gotcha. Okay. I think we... Do we have anywhere we can put more stuff? Because if I can construct more research outposts, then bring it. Honestly, we need more energy is what we need. But there's no way we can actually do that. We need a civilian out... Oh! Oh, okay. We can do now do a civilian outpost. Okay, we're definitely doing that. We need the energy. And the people. Oh, yeah. Let's do a civilian outpost there. And then I want to do uh, not enough resources. Right. That takes a lot of materials. Right. That makes sense. Okay, so we did a civilian outpost there. That is really good. Is there anywhere else we can do a civilian outpost that doesn't cost a lot? No. Next turn, I think we can. Did we construct everything here? Yes. Okay, and what about here? No. We do still have this place. Okay, rare earth and yeah, the problem was the energy. Which I didn't really want to spend here. But we can do this for more energy. Okay. So let's wait a turn, get our resources, get our flagship going. And then hopefully we'll have enough power to go ahead and try and take them on. Okay, um, well, we have our garrison fleet here, so I wasn't actually expecting them to come over here. I'm really surprised. I'm actually going to fight them. This is just a garrison fleet, though, so. Let's see. Um, should we do hold the line? No retreat? Hmm. I'm going to go no retreat, just hold the line here. Start combat. If you want this, you've got to take it. And we have nukes, but people aren't liking us very much. I'm just going to do the missile salvos. Um, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Because that's, you know, yeah, using diplomatic. Well, right now we're not using diplomatic means, are we? No. Okay, nuke and a missile right there. I think that'll definitely help our chances here. We're doing pretty good here. Nuke, missile. And that should definitely clinch it for us keeping this system. Oh yeah, I'm surprised we did so well. I thought this would be a very close fight, but no. Okay. So we definitely kept the system. And we now know that they're interested in coming over there. So. 
That's going to be a problem. Okay, how's our fleet going? I think we still are waiting on our flagship. Yeah. Once we have that flagship, I think we'll be really good to go. Okay. Yep, yeah, we're still waiting on this progress made. Okay, so currently we're doing this. Factory aut automation. Awesome. So, yeah, currently they're researching that. I like that. Um... We did find out about doing the energy production, which I want to do. Um, decreasing our total energy production there. But we, uh, we can do rare earth there, so... And rare earth here, so I don't really want to build it there. There was a couple other places I could build, wasn't there? I think there was. Yeah. Um... This really didn't have anything, so I could definitely build an outpost here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and build that outpost. I think we need that energy production. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and intern here. That way we have our fleet coming. That's going to be our attack fleet for now. There we go, turn 9. Oh, and hey, look, a new civilian quarters at Karun 4 has increased our long-term happiness. Nice. Okay, so now our fleet should be complete here. And they are. Awesome. So our new fleet is complete here. Let's go in and have her move over to here. She's not as strong as I would like. But there's not much I can do about that. Can we... Now I want to know. Can we swap ships? Can I, like, send this ship over to here? And set something there? I think we can. Yeah. If we can, I really like that. Yeah. Um, the Ajax are really good. And, I mean, I'd like to have them over here instead. That's 63 DPS. Wow, we're doing a whole bunch of DPS from that. The Ajax aren't as good as I thought they were. It could also be because we have these going and they don't. Yeah, probably. Um, I'm gonna put one Ajax over here instead of a sign. So I can't. You can just decommission them. Then why can you drag them? Can I put them over here? No. Okay, so then I don't get why you can drag them. Oh, you can drag them within the fleet. Okay. I get it now. A lot of stuff is not intuitive in this game. I mean, I think if you've got the fleets in the same area, you should be able to move them around. But apparently not, so... That is what it is. Okay. So, we've got the research going. We've got more energy production now. That means I can build my research station that I wanted. And where was that research station that I wanted to put? Uh, 25% there. Um, yeah. Let's put a research station here. Okay, we've got to wait to get more of the minerals. Once we get more minerals, we're going to put a research station there. Okay, what are we looking at here for these guys? 32? Honestly, I'm going to send our new fleet in and see how they do here. I do remember how it went last time, but let's go. We're going to do, um, uh, we're going with a lightning strike, I think. I think a lightning strike's going to be good. Two here, three there, one there. I think that's going to be good. Okay. Our flagship is here. I'm going to want to nuke and missile this command beacon as soon as possible.
Okay. Nuke and missile again. I want that place taken over right now. And once we can take care of this... Okay, and they left. So we've got victory here. So this is now our... Uh, this is now our system again. For however long that lasts. <laughs> oh, it did not last long last time. Uh, okay. I'd have to rebuild this place. Okay, rebuild our outpost. There. We now have a research outpost here. Okay. Fun stuff. I'm telling you. The, uh, that... The fighting in this game can get rough because you're... It's, sometimes you're expecting to win and then all of a sudden they're just destroying you. And then sometimes uh, you don't expect to win and somehow you're just doing awesome. Like that was a really close r fight going by the numbers. And then we immediately just obliterated them. And I just, I don't get the difference there. Okay, let's see what we can do this turn. I do want another research outpost, I think. I mean, our research is going pretty well. Yeah, I mean, we're doing really well in the research. Eventually, we uh, soon we're going to get to the advanced warship construction. So, what I think is I want to get more mineral going. And that's what I'm going to build here. Because it's got the increased rare earth. So I think I'm going to go ahead and build another mine here. To go ahead and increase that. And I think that's really going to help us in the long run. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them down to here now. Because, I mean, nobody can get here. So there's no point in keeping any ships there besides the garrison. And the same is true for here. So, um, what I'm thinking about doing... We have a 45 fleet that I'm going to move down to here. And I'm just going to keep them for now. And then I'm going to take this and move them here. Okay, um, actually, I'm just gonna disband him, considering, I mean, look at him, he's got nothing. Um, dude, you're getting disbanded, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry about that, but that's just rough. Okay, is there anything new we can build this way? No. Okay, um, I, can we change this to a settlement I'm not sure how you do that so yeah I'm not sure how you do that we'll find out when we get to the bow system I'm sure so right now I'm gonna intern and let's see what the roar clan do I'm kind of expecting a retaliatory attack but and that's why I put two fleets there so I'm kind of expecting them to come after us after that. They didn't. Awesome. Let's see. The civilian quarters got finished. Awesome. Okay. So we're looking good for production up here. And I mean, that's... <laughs> that's what we need. We need to increase um, more minerals. So we definitely need to see if we can't build that somewhere else too. We don't have enough resources yet, but next turn we will. So I'm going to hold off another turn and go ahead and wait for the resources to do that. And that also gives us a chance for the research. So um, I want to really go straight for those tier 2 units. Now the question is, do I really or do I want to focus on increasing production of things? We've almost got that done. So I'm going to take um, this away and just do this. Um, 
Oh, from successful trees. Nice. Okay. Um. Firing computers equipment's interesting. Increases energy production of power plants. That's interesting. This looks like a good. Yeah. Okay, I think I definitely want to go this way. Well, let's finish doing this, and then I'm going to go this way. I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, we can construct here. Um, mm, let's... I do believe we can build something here. Yeah, there was this. And increase our mineral extract extraction here. Okay. Yeah, I want to increase mineral extraction. So I want to go ahead and do a power plant here. I mean, industrial outpost, a mining station. Um, and we do have the energy forts. So that's awesome. So we're going to go ahead and build that there. So that way we can go ahead and get more minerals. The more minerals we have, the faster we can build everything. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and intern here. Is the Roar Clan going to attack back? I'm waiting for them to do it. I'm really... Yep. I knew they would eventually. Okay. Conflict at Bobby. Yeah, we don't have any nukes or missiles. Um, they're coming at us hard. We're going to go ahead and fight. We knew this was going to happen. Um. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Hold the line? I think we're just going to hold the line here and just see how it goes. We have no missiles or any type of nukes. So, I mean, if they beat us, they beat us. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. Currently, it looks like they're winning. Yeah, they're going to destroy us here. There's nothing we can do about it. Yep. That's the end of that. So they were able to take that back. God only knows why they wanted it. I mean, it, I don't see the point of it. It's a barren system, but whatever. Okay, the problem becomes this is now... Um, well, we do have our command station here, but still. What I'm thinking about doing is taking the 37 fleet, moving them over here. There we go. Okay, so what can we do now? Okay, so we have that done. So I'm going to go up here because I want more minerals. And I'm going to start researching that. Let's see. Um, Can we build anything anywhere else? Uh, we built everything here. I wish it would stop saying buildable when you've built on everything you've built on in that system. I think we still have one place here. We do. And it's definitely got rare earth reserves. Um, do we have the energy for that? We do, actually. And the resources. Okay. Go ahead and do that. That will definitely help increase our... Um, Minerals and rare earth mining. Okay, at this point, I think we're going to in turn and wait and see what happens here. Let's see if the Roar Clan hits back over at Zoka. They would have to be fools to do that, though. I mean, I've got a command station set up there, not just a command beacon. I still don't... Okay. That's what those mean. Okay. Oh. I have news. I'm not sure whether it's good or not. Probably not. Yes. We have been contacted by another species. And everything about them is rather worrying. How come? It's an invitation to an audience with a Tamanin Imperial representative. They broadcast it simultaneously on pretty much every frequency we use. Ha! That itself is a pretty respectable feat. Imperial? We'll see if they really are something worthy of the word. 
They broadcast their message in Milstrika so that we'd understand. The translation may not be entirely accurate. I presume we are going to accept the invitation? Anything but the kind of first contact we had with the Roar clan. Let's go to war if it turns out to be necessary. But let's do it when we want to and when we're prepared. It's interesting that they are already inviting us to a meeting while we hardly even knew of their existence. You could call it the, you could call that worrying as well. This Tamanan Empire and the Roar have been neighbors for a long time, so they surely have heard that some new species is wiping the Roar off the map. I presume I'll be the one to participate. So what is our stance in the meeting? Do we want to appear strong and indifferent to them, or appear friendly and cooperative? Okay, so these guys are trying to talk to us. Roar shot at us first, and I'm fine nuking them off the map. But these guys are like, hey, we want to talk. So we're going to appear friendly here. Sounds smart. No matter where they're... No matter whether we want to attack them later or not, it's good to appear harmless for now. Alright, that's what it's going to be. Let's just not be too meek. We do want their respect. Welcome, newcomers. It appears you have already translated the Milstrika tongue since you replied to our invitation. Yes, we have. It is quite simple, actually, when you've grasped the, the basics. It is, though its expressive capability is thus quite limited. The Tamanan Empire welcomes you to this galaxy, trusting that you are here with friendly and peaceful in intentions. I'll agree. Yes, we only seek peaceful coexistence. To be honest, your recent actions in this sector don't exactly support that. You're probably not aware, but the Roar Clan's lands are a de jure part of the Taman Tamanan Empire. The Roar were enjoying momentary independence, but that doesn't mean we've renounced our claim to their systems. Explain. We have been acting solely in self-defense. The Roar attacked us multiple times, giving us no other option but to respond. Our military actions have only been the appropriate response. We naturally recognize your right to defend yourselves, but the Roar are already defeated. You do not need to occupy the whole sector. This occupation is unnecessary. I'm going to challenge that. I'm sorry, we took it over. It sounds like the Roar independence, as you put it, sounds like they fought back against you, and now you want to take the lands that we took from them. Uh, it's not going that way, fam. We didn't want to take any risks. No one attacks us and gets away with it, and the Roar were no exception. I see, but what is the reason for your presence in the Pegasus Galaxy, as you are apparently calling it? This looks more like an invasion force than a recon mission. It wasn't our fault. We were looking for a place to settle, not necessarily a previously occupied one, but the Roar attacks forced the issue. Very well. I sincerely hope that you've now gained all the space required to settle and you will refrain yourselves from tipping the fragile balance of this galaxy any further. Do not forget that you are not the only inhabitants of this galaxy. Let's continue our constructive dialogue in the future. Okay, so now we know about them. Okay. Where are they? Are they these guys? They might be these guys over here. Okay, well, they can do whatever they want over there. I'm busy over here dealing with the Roar Clan still. Okay, what do we got going on in this sector? 45? Okay, and they also have a station there. That's going to be rough to deal with. Okay, how's our resources looking? Not good. Not good. Not good. Um, should we go ahead and start um, another fleet? Considering we're kind of lacking in fleets. We only have two? Uh, that's a good question. Mm, I think I'm going to wait here and end the turn. We definitely need more resources before we do that. Oh, 
Well, the first expeditionary fleet's like, oh, hey, we're just gonna go on over here. Okay. I'm pretty sure there are in them. There are friend, right? What exactly are y'all doing then? If y'all are our allies, can I go through your territory? I'm not sure. Welcome. We are assembling because of the contact we have made with yet another new species. Yes, we received an audience call from a so-called Tamanan Empire. We had a short conversation with their representative. We've received the basic information you sent us about the species, but what did they actually want from us? We sent you all we know. Well, apart from them being a self-claimed empire, claiming that all the systems we have occupied are de jure part of their empire, and tell us subtly but menacingly to stop our expansion immediately. De jure part of their empire? To leave the Lor to leave the Roar clan alone? That's well impossible. They are asking for quite a lot, sure, but we have a bit of somewhat habitable land already. We are not stopping here. We are here to provide Earth a chance against the Colossals. Does what we have now give us that chance? You think this is enough to win that war? These few sandballs of a planet? It is clear that it's not enough. We need more, a lot more, to have any chance back home. These sandballs hardly matter. So you agree that we must go on? Ignore this empire and go on? We know too little to make a well-informed decision. But there are no other options, so yes, we agree. Mr. Madden, we're risking another war while we haven't finished the first one yet. We're risking it with a civilization we know almost nothing about. And all the little we know about them points to them being a local superpower. Fair enough. But what course of action do you propose? It is obvious we cannot avoid a disagreement with this Taman Empire in the long run. I suggest we try to avoid escalating that disagreement into a war, or at least try to prolong that for as long as possible. Okay, I'd say, um, appease them for as long as possible. We could play for that for time, for a while. Make it at least look like we're slowing down while strengthening our fleets and economy. Yeah. At least that. Going to war headlong with anything we meet is just unnecessary risk taking. I still think we should not waste time appeasing anyone. We should also mind the risk of overextension, Ed Maureen. Sewing down here allows us to develop our infrastructure, supply lanes, and production. We can't win wars without them. Very well. We'll slow down slightly. That will be all this time. Okay. And with that, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you all so much for joining me today for the Pegasus Expedition. Cheers! <laughs>